Hello and welcome to Target Focus Life. My name is Steve and today I'm taking a look at the Falcon Strike Hydraulic Recoil Reduction System. I have not test fired this yet, but I'm gonna be putting this on one of my firearms and trying it out and letting you guys know, does it actually reduce felt recoil? Now the company claims all sorts of awesome data, like 80% less recoil energy, 35% less muzzle lift, 25 less peak force, and 35% less rock back. Now, if those things are remotely close to true, that's pretty incredible. I'm intrigued. I'm not gonna be able to verify the numbers that they put on the box or in their marketing material, but what I am gonna do is take one of my firearms. It's the Winchester Model 101. Love this gun, it's a fun gun to shoot. My only complaint is the recoil. It's got a fair bit of recoil, and not only does it recoil back, but it recoils up into my face, feeling like someone gives me a short jab every time I shoot it. Now, I have been told that changing the pitch of the stock, cutting this at a different angle, could help with that, but I'm just really curious, if I throw on this recoil pad, essentially, how much will it actually reduce the felt recoil? Will this gun become more enjoyable to shoot? If it does half of what it says it will, I'm pretty excited. First, before we head out to the range, let me tell you a little bit about this. I'm not even gonna pretend that I have it memorized because there's some really big words in here. I'll just read it right off the sheet. Here's what Falcon Strike says. They say, this is a hydraulic dampening technology that works to match your body shape that contours the shoulder when the gun is fired. The elastic bladder contains a high performance shock absorber that expands up to 10% for maximum energy reduction, which will result in all the numbers I gave you earlier. 80% less recoil being one of those numbers that stands out. And this is interesting right here. Falcon Strike comes with a 100% less recoil, more comfort guarantee. Meaning if it doesn't reduce the recoil and give you more comfort, there's a 100% guarantee, which I think it's pretty cool. Sounds like a company that's willing to stand behind their product. There's a lot of high-tech technology that goes into here, borrowed from the aerospace uh, and military industries. I'm not gonna tell you what all that technology is. I'll put links down below so you can look at all that information, including the marketing numbers that they gave us for how much this is gonna reduce recoil. But without further ado, I'm gonna get my 101 out on the range. I've shot it a whole bunch, but I'm gonna shoot a little bit for you guys just to get a feel of the recoil. We're gonna put on the recoil reduction system by Falcon Strike, and then I'll give you my feedback. Do I feel that it's really worth the price to help reduce your recoil? Let's go. Today I'm shooting the Federal Top Gold eight shot, ounce and an eight. Now, I'm pulling myself, so this is gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Got the controller on my hip gonna shoot a few and then I'll show you slow-mo clips of the recoil see what it looks like. Hi house first. There we go, that was a good hit. The low house. Pretty nice hit. Now let's throw on that Falcon Strike recoil pad and see what the difference is. By the way, this is a great time to do this test because I've been shooting over the last couple days, about a thousand rounds. My shoulder's a little bit sore. I've had some mismounts. It's, it's pretty tender, so I can really feel the recoil. Now, I can put up with this gun. It's fine, but I'm really hoping when I throw on this recoil pad, it's a totally different experience. So it looks like installation should be fairly simple. We're gonna remove the factory butt plate, usually just Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna put this plate on, and then we're gonna put on the Falcon Strike. Sounds simple. Let's see how quick it goes. There we go, two screws are out. Recoil pad should pop right off. There we go. There it is, just uh, basically a rubber pad. On the butt end of the stock, looks like the Falcon Strike comes with four screws. Let's go ahead and put this base plate on. Now I do notice right from the get-go, the base plate is not the same size as my stock. This is a multi-fit wood Falcon Strike. 
So it could go on a variety of models. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna make it flush on top. I don't know that it matters, but I have a little bit of a gap here on the bottom where the base plate overhangs the stock. Okay, now let's see how the Falcon Strike pad goes on. There is a plastic or a rubber kind of flange that I peeled back. It was sitting like that, I just peeled it back. I believe I saw that on their website. I don't see it in their instructions right here. You pull that flange back so you can push these tabs down. But I'm having a little trouble. All right, I'll admit I had to turn the camera off for just a moment as I tried to put the tabs down on the base plate that goes on here because I was honestly struggling. I had to use a little bit of force. I used the back end of the screwdriver. I didn't want you to see if I slipped and smashed my shotgun. Now that this is on and secure, it just uh, I had to double and triple check things to make sure that I wasn't uh, forcing when it didn't need force. But I think I just need a little love, you know, just a little tough love. I'm gonna fold this flange down. I think that's all there is to it. Let's shoot this bad boy, see how it feels. All right, here we go, first shots. Everything looks correct. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Hi, Hal. Ooh, nailed that shot. Go number two, little house. Ladies and gentlemen, the verdict is in. And this thing works. And I mean, it's very, very significant. I'm only about 15 shots in, and I can tell you that it highly reduces recoil. This gun went from a very great looking gun, a very great shooting gun, but not a very fun gun to shoot, simply because the recoil made it not enjoyable. No one likes to get punched every time they shoot. This was a simple and easy fix, fairly simple to put on, and now I can enjoy shooting my Winchester Model 101. I got one more test I wanna put this through. If you've seen any of my shotgun reviews, you know that I like to see how fast can a gun cycle? How fast can it get back on target? Now I wish I would've tried this as a baseline test without putting on the Falcon Strike, but just out of curiosity, I wanna see how quick, after the timer goes off, with my shot timer, how quick I can throw out two clays and shoot them. I don't need to look at the timer to know that I can do it faster now with this Falcon Strike than I would have been able to before because it's not painful. It's not punching me in the face. Hey, heads up, this is not a paid advertisement for Falcon Strike. I am just now a firm believer. And now that I'm a firm believer, maybe I can go back to them and get a paid sponsorship in the future. But actually Falcon Strike just sent me this hydraulic recoil reduction system to test out. And now I'm just making a video because I wanted to make a video. Let's see how quick I can shoot two hand-thrown clays. It's pretty fast, pretty fast. Let's check it out. One, two, six total time. First shot was at 1.01 .01 and the split was 0.25. So not quite as fast as I am with my semi-auto, but my face doesn't hurt. And I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to put the rounds down range with this and really put it through the ringer. But if you're interested, check the link down below. Check it out. I think you will enjoy it as well. Until next time, remember, whether it's in the field or just in life, you're only gonna hit the shots that you're focused on. So stay target focused. See ya.